redundant sensors. Robots have different types of sensors to allow flexibility in type of data. For example, direction, distance, light, sound, temperature, etc. Multiple sensors speed up the rate of environment readings and provide redundancy and fault tolerance. They also save power. Sensors do not provide state information, but rather data or physical quantities. These measurements must be processed in order to be useful. Because sensors are prone to error, there are several sensors that measure the same quantity and can be used for sensor redundancy. Sensor fusion to obtain a more accurate representation of the world is when multiple sensors are used to create some knowledge or get better information about the robot's internal and or external state. Sensor fusion is used to obtain a more accurate representation of the world. Sensor fusion can combine sensor readings from the same sensor, such as taking an average minimum or maximum over one small time interval, for example, from an infrared sensor, and this is called redundant sensing, or it can take readings from multiple similar sensors, such as an individual sensor reading from different directions, such as a sonar ring, and this is called coordinated sensing, or it can take sensor readings from different kinds of sensors, such as combining sonar, infrared, and vision measurements, which is called complementary. So redundant sensors return the same percept, physical or logical. Sensor fission is competing or redundant sensing, same infrared or multiple infrared returning the same percept. Complementary sensors return disjoint types of information about a percept. So sensor fusion is a complementary, such as infrared, vision, and sonar, and coordinated sensors are used as a sequence of sensors for providing focus of attention. Sensor fashion is co coordinated, such as for a sonar ring. Sensor challenges. Some of the challenges are field of view or range. Does it cover the right area? Accuracy and repeatability. How well does it work? Responsiveness in the target domain. How well does it work for this domain? Power consumption. Does it suck up the batteries too quickly? Reliability. Can it be a bit flaky or vulnerable? Size is always a concern. Does it fit on the robot? Computational complexity. Can you process the information fast enough? And interpretation reliability. Do you believe what it's telling you? Sensor uncertainty. Uncertainty refers to the robot's inability to be certain about the state of itself or the environment. When a sensor leads to a robot to believe a percept is present but is not, this is called a false positive. When a robot misses a percept, it is called a false negative. Some of the sources of uncertainty are sensor noise and errors, sensor limitations, effector and actuator noise and errors, hidden and partially observable states, lack of prior knowledge about the environment, and dynamic and changing environment. For example, given a sensor reading, what should I do? It's easy to answer with a simple sensor. If the bump sensor is triggered, the robot should stop moving. It's hard to answer with a complex sensor. If the, image, if the camera image contains a wall, what should the robot do? Follow it, move away? Given a sensor reading, what was the world like when the reading was taken? Considering that you have a mobile robot that may have moved by the time it processes and receives the perceptual information from the sensor. This may not be easy to answer with simple or complex sensors because simple sensors do not provide enough information for reconstruction of the world, i.e. if the bump sensor is triggered, when did it hit it? What did it hit? Complex sensors provide the information but require a great deal more of processing. And this concludes today's lecture on sensors and perception. Have a great day.